Okay, who's leading off? What, what bothered you the most from, I guess, the first quarter and a half Sunday? Yeah, they came out throwing, obviously, and throwing quick, um, and we weren't close enough. We, we played a lot more man in those first three series than we usually do, and or we were in uh, some tight matchup zones, and we just didn't play it good enough. They act, their pass offense was better than our pass defense. Nick, or Vic, I'm curious as far as um, you know, how the defense can look so good one week against New Orleans and then come out to Tampa and not look the same. How, how, why is that, do you think? Well, um, it's a good question. You know, they came out throwing real fast, real quick, and we weren't tight enough. And we fell behind the, uh, the chains because of that. Um, and it just kind of snowballed. We never got, couldn't make the play to get them the second and 10 or third and 10. And it just never happened. Brady suggested on the. Who did? Tom Brady on the telecast that, you get, that you're not comfortable playing uh, press coverage uh, right now. Is that. Is, is there any validity to that? No. Um, <clears throat> our guys, especially, particularly the corners, have the ability to press based on formation. You know, if they're stacking receivers and stuff, you, it's hard to press then. But on normal splits, they have the ability to press in almost all our calls. It's up to the, is, it, is it their decision? Yeah, it's by matchup <clears throat> and receiver split. Yeah, but we had more opportunity. We can press more. In terms when does of, that adjustment come? Uh, you say they're playing uh, a little bit too all pre, uh, soft, whatever. When does that adjustment come from you, or when do you try to make it? It came, you know, we tried, we tried to communicate that early, you know, that we had to get tighter. And, um, but credit to them, they, they threw it and caught it better than we defended it. So what happened there, Vic? If, if you realize you have to get tighter and maybe that's relayed, is that the players not doing it? Is it you not coaching it well enough? Uh, it's, Probably me not coaching it well enough. Then, then what do you have to do differently? Coach it better and do a better job during the week and, and then understanding that sometimes teams come out in different stuff, you know, different tact than what you saw going into the game, and we got we to gotta adjust. Jalen, we'll Jalen, Jalen Carter is uh, on pace for 850 snaps right now, which would be 300 more than last year. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's sustainable, or do you feel like you might be running the, the engine a little too hot? I don't know. It's, a, it's an individual thing. <clears throat> you know, I'm used to <clears throat> in a lot of places where defensive linemen can play that much. Um, to me, it's an individual thing. And it's also how the reps are <clears throat> falling in a game, you know. In some of the games, the New Orleans game, we – we had a fair amount of three and outs or five play drives. You know, that won the case the other day, obviously. And then the heat factored in. So rather than it being a hard number, circumstances do affect it. But I do think guys are capable of playing. What was the issue with the tackling or the lack thereof? Yeah, lack thereof. Um, a lot of times we left our feet too early. Uh, sometimes we didn't wrap up well enough. You know, we missed 15 tackles by our count, and um, that's way too many. And how, do you, that, how do you fix tackling when you don't practice tackling? Yeah, you emphasize it through film study, through practice drills, and better technique. If, they, if, that, if it's a better tackling day, does that kind of put that coverage problem, or you still think it was too? In other words, if they tackled better. Yeah, I, I follow you. The answer is yes to a degree. You know, a lot of their bigger play, bigger gains came after missed tackles, so that would have had a major plus for us if we could have tackled better. Um, but still, we got to be tighter, too. In terms of, guys in terms of down, passing but... things off within zones and, and guys being in the, in the right spot, having been as many places as you have, what is a, a realistic expectation for when that will sort of look like you want it to look? Hopefully soon, like soon. How much do you think Sidney Jones can contribute coming off? I'm Sidney Brown. I'm sorry, Sidney Brown. Uh, Sidney Brown can contribute coming off the. Uh... We'll see. You know, we're excited to get him coming back. You know, we all have to have some patience, which I know isn't a big virtue 
amongst any of us at this time of the year. The guy hadn't played any football since his injury, I believe was first week of January last year. Um, here we are, it's gonna be in October. And, you know, it's gonna, his OTAs and training camp are gonna have to be squished together fast. And which he is ready to do mentally and emotionally but we have to be careful ourselves to not overdo it with them. And, and, but overdo it from a physical standpoint and an expectation standpoint. Did Reed, did Reed enter the Jeff, game? Can I follow up on that quick, just one quick thing? What, do you, uh, what did you see from him on film that maybe you think can help this team? <clears throat> yeah, I think he's a good football player that brings energy. I think he's a good tackler. Um, I'm excited to see him, you know, for the first time. Um, because I do think he's a good football player. Where he'll exactly fit in, we'll have to see. Did Reed enter the game ill? Yeah, he did, you know, which, which I wasn't aware of until when he finally came out. They said he had been woke up sick that day, I think with some food poisoning. I'm not positive of that. But, yeah, I was not aware of that. So, I don't so the heat of, of, of Yeah, obviously the heat. Conversely, obviously compounded that. Is that, is that what uh, yeah, Very much so. I would think so. Nick said that on, on third and long situations that extended drives. What's that a reflection of? Well, the um, downfield throws, we, you know, when the quarterback's scrambling, we got, we got to be disciplined the plaster like we did, but we can't hold. And then always the, uh, the one off sides against us was, um, you know, they actually moved, which caused it, but the refs didn't see it. And one time we got our head in the neutral zone. Nick said that he uh, sat down and watched all the defensive tape with you uh, following this, this game. Is that the first time you guys did that, or is that uh, a weekly thing? No, we do that all the time. And what's the, the value? Uh, just so he knows exactly what's happening and what we're coaching him to do and what's being expected. Is that your experience over different stops, or is it just yeah. based on? Okay. Yeah. Rick, I know, I know we ask you a lot about price off and everything. Um, but after four games, like, what, what are you seeing from him? I mean, what's, what's kind of like the situation with him going forward, do you think? Yeah, I think he's improving. You know, when I say improving, you know, against the run, you know, that's something that he hadn't really been asked to do in, in his past, and that's been an adjustment for him. I'm seeing some improvement there. We don't ask him to drop very often, you know, but when he does, I, I'm seeing some improvement there. So he's working hard at it. Uh, he's as frustrated with it as any of us are, but uh, confident he'll get it going. Like you had a couple guys go down with the injuries. You know, What's that? You had a couple guys go out, you know, Reed and, and Slay, and we saw Rodgers come in and McCollum come in for some extended snaps. What did you see from, from those two guys? Yeah, I thought Isaiah, he always out there a little bit, but thought he did good. Uh, McCollum... He had a good week of practice the week before because um, if you remember Chauncey had a foot injury that came up during the, one of the walkthroughs and he actually got a full day's practice, Tristan did on Thursday and Friday last week and was very encouraged by that going into the New Orleans game. And then he got thrown in this week when uh, Reed had to leave. And you know, he had some errors there, but overall I'm encouraged by his play and where he can be eventually as an NFL safety. On, so Huff, what are the, on, on Huff, what are the tools that you liked about him that maybe you hadn't really had yet in a defense like this before? Like, his yeah, well, he, been, you know, obviously what he, in his past, pass rushing was his forte, and um, that was number one for us. And then to see it, then see if we can develop him in the other areas too so he can play more. Now, where where you at, at is, is, you see Avante keeping that role here, or is, is, is Cooper getting up to speed? Where yeah, Cooper's um, closing in on being ready, where we just at some point we'll put him out there. Um, but Avante, you know, has played fine in some areas. Obviously, he's had some plays that he'd like to have back, like all of us, including me. But, um, yeah, he's getting better. What are Chauncey's issues in terms of, he keeps talking about technique whenever he gives up some of these touchdowns or passes, but what specifically does he need to improve upon in terms of his technique? Well, he needs to tackle better. Uh, that'd be first and foremost, and then be sharp in his execution, you know, of his, knowing his assignments and executing them. Vic, just to clarify, do you anticipate having Sydney at practice when you guys get back? 
I think so. I think I, I think so that we're going to open up his practice window. Now, I'm not positive of that, so don't hold me to that. But um, that has been the timeline, you know, over the last few months and haven't been told anything to the different. Will you look at him at the slot at all? It's possible. It's possible. But I think, you know, a guy coming back from that long a lay, lay, layoff, um, it's best to get him in one spot before you start moving them around. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.